So now we know that Git is used to track the files and folders in the project directory, right? But how will you start a project? There can be two ways. One can be that you start this project from scratch, that you are writing the first line of this project in your system. Second way can be that there is some code base that is already present on the internet. It can be that your friends in the company or your teammates in the company have worked on some project have they have built few features around it right so now what you have to do is you have to add new features or resolve some bugs in that right so these are the two ways that you know how you can start a project now in both the ways i need to tell the project directory that i want to start tracking the changes i want to listen to the changes in all the files and folders that are inside you so this process is known as initializing git in the working directory or project directory Let's see how to do this in both the cases, right? So first take the case where we are building something from scratch, right? So let's first go to the terminal and let's create a new project directory. And let's go to this location. Now here, let's open VS code to open VS code. I'm using this command code space dot. So at this particular directory, I am creating my project, right? So let's add few project files. Let's say file one dot JS and file two dot JS. Important project code. So I write my first few lines of the code. Cool. So now I want to tell Git that all you have to listen and track the files and folder in this new project directory. So what I have to do is I have to first open the terminal at this location and at this location, I need to use a command that is known as git in it, right? So with this command, it basically initializes git in this project directory. It basically start listening to the changes in this directory and now in the response, it is saying that initialize empty git repository in this location and it has created a dot git folder that is basically a configuration folder that git creates for itself to do the features that it performs, right? So we won't be going much deeper in this dot git, but in the last few lectures, we can discuss about it. Cool. So now I have told my directory to start listening to the changes in it. Now, let's say I finally code something and I want to push, I want to upload this code to the internet, let's say on github.com. So that place on the internet is known as remote, right? So the project directory that we have on the local system will be known as working directory and it on the internet, on the github.com at a repository that we will create or we created in the last lecture is known as a remote, right? So to my local system, I need to give the address of my internet repository that is the github repository right so let's see how to do it also guys when we are giving a name to let's say uh, some some location so let's say i want to go to new delhi or i want to go to new york right so i don't take the latitude and longitude of that location just because i know that is complex right similar to this in this case also it is really complex to always refer to address with the url Right, this because URL is big. So I need to give a name to that address, right? So now I have to do two tasks. First is to tell this local system that what is the location of the remote on the internet. Second is to give a good name to this internet repository. So let's do this. And for this, we'll be using a command git remote and add. And after this, you have to write the name, whatever name you want to give to this address. So right, I'll give a name of origin and then I'm giving a name of this origin to this URL. So finally, I need to get the URL also. So let's go to the internet, go to github.com and here let's create a new repository where I want to upload the files when I want to do it in future, right? So this is code on internet. Create a repository. 
So when I do it, I can see the address of this repository here. So this HTTP URL is basically the address of this repository on internet, right? So it is telling us the service provider. So this GitHub is the server provide, service provider. Strayash is basically the username and this code on internet is basically the name of the repository on GitHub, right? So this overall is basically the address of my repository on the internet. So what I'll do, I'll go and come back and come again to the VS code and here I'll just paste this, right? So now I have added the address as well as I have given the name to that address, right? So this is the configuration that we have to do when we are starting my project from scratch. Cool. So now let's take the second case where I am taking the project that is already on internet and I want to build something on that, right? So for that, let's go to the internet and let's see where my code is currently placed. So let's come to a, a repository that is already created by our teammates who have already worked on it. And let's say this is the code that they have, right? So I want to first get or download this code to my local system. And then I want to, I want to tell that I want to start tracking the changes in that folder, right? So first thing that I have to do is I have to copy the location or the address of this repository. I'll copy this by control C and then let's go back to the terminal once again and here Let's go to a folder. And in this folder, I will write a command that is git clone, right? And now after git clone, I have to give the URL or the address on the internet, right? So that I just copied from GitHub, right? I just paste it. Now, what it will do is, first of all, it will get the files project files to this local system in this directory where I'm currently at, right? So let's press enter now. Yes, it has downloaded the files and I can see by checking the number of files at this location LS. So yeah, so it is giving me this big company code that I had on internet, this big company code, right? So now let's enter in into this CD. Now I can see the files that are present in this directory. So let's start working on it. So to start or open the project here, I'll again type code dot dot. So I'll open this project directory on VS code. So here I can see the files in the left side. Now let's say in a particular file, I go and I basically add a line that changes or might resolve the bug, right? So let's say I added this line. Finally, after adding this line, right? Finally, after adding this line, I want to now check that if Git is tracking these changes or not. So let's again go to terminal and check Git status. So when I do it, you can see that this Git is automatically recognizing or listening to the changes, right? So the command that we use Git clone, not only downloads the code, it also start tracking the changes, right? So with a single command, I'm doing both the jobs, right? So now we know that my project file, my project directory is being tracked by Git, right? So now let's see what all changes are done and what are the different stages of these changes in the upcoming video.